All new tonight here at 6 o'clock, the pesky caterpillars are back, and this year there are more of them than ever. WBZ's Pamela Gardner went to a home in Sherburne to find out what you can do to save your trees from those gypsy moth caterpillars. If you thought last year was rough with these creepy crawlers, guess what? It's going to be one of our worst years on record. And this homeowner knows that he needs to get rid of these things fast. There was an arborist, a, a tree man here last fall, and he said, you've got to get this done. Prior to last year, there hasn't been a major gypsy moth caterpillar outbreak since the 80s. This year, the egg masses are numerous across his property. If they do leaf out and they are attacked, it will almost look as if they're a half or two thirds stripped bare. Each egg mass on a tree can produce up to 600 to 800 gypsy moth caterpillars. And I mean, as you can see, just on this little 12 inch area, there's, yeah. there's probably a thousand gypsy moth caterpillars. These little guys have a big appetite. They start to eat away at everything, especially oak leaves. What happens if you don't treat this? Well, gypsy moth caterpillars are a really fast moving pest. I mean, as you saw last year, the aerial shots of southern Massachusetts and Rhode Island and the foliage, you know, at the end of May compared to end of June, the canopy for the region, it will look like it's winter time. Even with all the rain we had in April, it was just too late. There was a fungus called entomophaga that kept it in check, but due to the historic drought over the last couple of years, that fungus wasn't able to thrive and take over the gypsy moth caterpillars. Now through the end of the month, the pros are spraying an environmentally responsible coating on the leaves, not harmful to bees or pollinators, and it's cost effective. Oh yes, I would say so. I mean, if you lose a great many of the trees on your property, uh, you know, I mean, it adds to the, you know, the charm of the property to have those trees. Pamela Gardner, WBZ News.